Well, she shared with me that she is grateful to the community. Obviously, this got of a lot of attention. She says she's grateful for everybody who stepped up to try and help find Madison Armstrong. Obviously, though, this is not the outcome that anyone wanted. But now their fight turns to looking for answers. They want to know how he ended up in this lake. But more importantly, they say they want to avoid all this from happening to anyone else. That was him, and um, he was a baby. For every chapter of Madison Armstrong's life, three pounds, 12 ounces. Mom Tamika has been there, from family gatherings and graduations to some tough times, too. Madison had been diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar, and after years living independently, he went missing on November 1st, leaving home without his phone or his wallet. Let's put one up here. Tamika and her family knew something was wrong. They put up flyers and searched far and wide, alerting police who created a silver alert. In the end, on Wednesday, though, it was an old neighbor who made the shocking discovery. A lady that I've walked with for months when I was living out here called me, and she said to me, because something is floating in the water. The lake just around the corner from where Madison grew up off Newburn Avenue. They don't know how he ended up there or if anyone heard him. They also question if more could have been done and say silver alerts for vulnerable adults should be treated just as seriously as amber alerts for children. He should have gotten the same exact treatment. We would have found him. I believe we would have found him. She just hopes Madison's story won't be repeated. I'm not blaming anybody. I just think there's no protocol put in place for a mother or a family. Hey, my child is missing. He has he's, he has critical medical need, and this is a silver alert. What do we do? There was nothing. Until then, she'll always wonder. Could we have walked more, ran more? <laughs> I did everything that I could do. But while this story may not have ended the way they wanted. The last chapter is he's with God. And I'm okay with that. And right now we are still pressing Raleigh police for more answers. All they have said so far is that this case is considered uh, suspicious leading up to the discovery of that body. Other than that, though, we don't know what led up to him being found here. In the meantime, there is an autopsy being conducted right now. It's expected to be done by early next week. So hopefully that will provide some more clues as to what happened. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.